Hello everyone, it's Sinos. Welcome back with another video. In this one, I'll be talking about mouse, mousepad, creeps, DPIs and how to be comfortable while aiming if you're arm player or wrist player and then we go over sensitivity in game. So basically the full guide for playing Rainbow Six Siege. Make sure to like and subscribe and let's get into the video. So for mouse, I have Logitech G203 LightSync. It is light and kind of small. So it makes it comfortable to move around for aiming and it also has some buttons as you guys can see this side and also on the top which is for the dpi and the crash button is like this one and then troy flashes and nades is this one i have it this way because it feels more comfortable so yeah make sure to not have a mouse like the one i had before this is heavy this is the mouse i had before it is heavy and it is kind of big as you can see it is like so different with this one and it had this like annoying grips on this side which as you can see it has like a stick yeah it was a trash mouse but i changed it so make sure to not buy these kind of mouse um it is definitely not the not the mouse you want for playing Rainbow six siege for the grips we have three different ones paul claw and finger trip fingertips so it's like this these are all preferences and it's up to you how you like it. Try this so you have the full control of your mouse while playing because it's important. Mine is palm grip and this is how I hold my mouse. Basically I have my full hand on the mouse and then my two fingers on the top and then fingers on the side. Yeah, then I can like move it around and feel comfortable. Now, are you arm player or wrist player or both? Make sure to check out those based on the sense you have and see if you're comfortable with how it is. So my desk here, and I put my arm like this, right? And my, my mouse is in the center, center of the mouse pad. And for recoil control, I just pull down like this, as you can see. So yeah, this way. For flicking and tracking, you all know how it is, like this. If it's like really far, I just flick like, like this, move my arm. Yeah. So if you're a wrist player, just be careful that you don't hurt your wrist while flicking and tracking like this. So as you go, as you guys see, this is like hurting right now, hurting my wrist because let's say if your sense is slow and then you have to like flick all the way till here so you can like kill the guy, then this will hurt you. That means you have to change your sense, make it faster. So you won't have to do this if you're a wrist player. If you guys like check out, I don't know who, but like, for example, the Jolly with like high DPI or some other players like Bolo, um, they don't usually move their mouse a lot because their sense is fast and they're wrist players. So they have like the mouse in the middle and they just move it like this, not a lot. So you avoid hurting your wrist. Check if your mouse pad is in a good position, put it a bit away from your arm. So it's not really close because if it is here let's say close like here then the way i'm holding my mouse will hurt my shoulders right like if it's let's say here it's hurting my shoulders on the top so yeah so just put it a bit away that's why instead i have it here and then my arms my arms like this side right i can move around right for mouse pad this is logitech g540 and it is soft smooth and big enough right so i have space to move my mouse anywhere right i don't need more than this like even if i have a slow sense i don't need more than this and the one that i had before was the worst mouse pad in the world as you all see so yeah this was this was the old mouse pad so you guys see it's like really hard and it is small right it is small um yeah so i was like playing with my wrist only here uh even though my sense wasn't like really fast but yeah that's how it was but yeah it got the job done at least uh but don't buy those this one is the best um not really expensive it's like 30 dollars 35 dollars um yeah moving on we have dpis which you have to search if your mouse has a software or application like this one right here which i have right and then you can like set up your DPIs, different DPIs. You can set up, for example, this one, 750, which I am playing on it. Uh, no, I was actually playing on 800, right? But before that, I was playing on 750 because it felt a bit fast. So 
this is really good you can set up even like 1500 or even higher 2500 whatever um yeah so it doesn't have to be always some um, numbers like 400 or 800 you can sometimes change your dpis um just a bit so you can like find your sense you don't have to always change the vertical and horizontal sensitivity in game so if for example 400 is slow maybe i change my dpi to 500 or 450 you know and then check again to see if my sense is good enough yeah and that way you can like um, find your dpi and see if your sense is comfortable now let's get into the game and talk about different senses and how you can find your sense quick enough all right guys now we are in game uh, my dpi is right now 400 i changed it to 400 and my horizontal the vertical says 11 we're gonna put it on 10 just to show you guys how it looks uh, one time score is 31 right now so just just have a look so this is how it looks right if I move my wrist like this, right? So I can like flick this range, basically, right? And if I ADS, I can flick this range only, right? And if I want to do one ADs like uh, like this, right? It's a bit slow, like it needs a lot of space to move on the mouse pad. And if I like want to like flick someone, as you guys see, like I have to move my mouse a lot on the mouse pad, so I can like do 180s, turn around. And if I ADS, it's gonna be really hard. That's the longest I can flick, basically. So this is definitely not a good sense, but what we can do, for example, we go change our DPIs. We go put it at 600, right? 600. But with the same vertical and same horizontal and same ADS, right? And look how better it is. You see? And then you, get, you guys can like do 180s faster. And I'm doing shorter movements on my mouse pad. I'm not doing like this till here, till here, right? I'm like doing this. You see? Only this space, this space of my mouse pad, right? So you guys don't have to always change um, your vertical and horizontal sense and play with these senses here, like here or ADSs. Just put one number, really simple. Just put a 10, 10, and then put 20, 30 ADS, and then change your DPIs a bit. If your mouse has a setting, uh, like a software, right? Again, if you don't want to do that, you can go back to, let's say, 400. And we do the old same trick that you guys all know. I made a video about it. So it's 400. We move these up to, let's say, 17 and 17. And then it's kind of the same with 600 DPI. It is faster. So like, if I want to move around, turn around, do 180s right it's comfortable it's smooth all right you can flick yeah this is so simple uh, a lot of you guys maybe confuse it or make it hard for yourself but in the end it's just so simple you guys just have to play with the numbers either with the dpi in the in the software or application you have for your mouse or with the numbers here and as i said if you want to put it 400 then just test it like this, do your 180s, your flicks with your ADS, or like just so simple, and see if it's good. Um, not gonna explain more than this, I already made a video, and as I said, it's simple, and I hope you guys like learned something new from all the things I explained. Make sure to like and subscribe, hope you guys enjoyed, and I see you guys in the next video.